Gazella. Boys, girls, buddy, old pals, a friend of mine. We are heading down to the frame rack right now. Gonna get everything pulled out. This truck is definitely, you can definitely feel this load with the Raptor on the trailer. But the good old white work truck, she, she'll pull through. I've got faith in her. So right now, we're literally out of gas. We're gonna go stop, get gas, grub up, and then I'll see you guys at the frame shop. We have. We, what time is it? It's scary. It's 10:52, and there is a thunderstorm. And it's raining. You can probably hear. But all of that rain. There's a metal roof, so it sounds crazy. I don't know if you guys can hear that. So scary. What was that? We're gonna die. We need to leave. <laughs> no. You want to see what's in my bag? Let's do. <laughs> What's Unbox. In, let's do what's in my purse. Woohoo! Okay. We made a nice little Harbor Freight trip. We got a new toolbox and the little stand to go with it. We just did the little US General Harbor, Fli Harbor Freight Classic. And then we got a nice little cheap light bar for under the hood to fix this. And a little magnet. Man, that rain is crazy. It is dumping. The audio is not gonna sound good. Not at all. It, sound, it sounds like it's raining a lot more than it really is. <laughs> Holy well, cow. It sounds like it's raining more than it really is. You didn't hear it. Look at how Fierce those trees are moving. That's crazy. Look at that. But we're gonna do a little unboxing. Get our nice little toolbox whipped out. But one thing that everybody should put in their wallet a nice little razor blade sing, 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 sing. these come in handy so much if you ever need them is it hannah approved yeah. oh yeah okie dokie we have an update on the raptor we've got it back from the alignment shop as you can see, before the passenger front wheel was pretty tilted in that way. And it is still slightly tilted in. I don't know if you guys can see that. But everything checked out on the alignment. So we're going to see if it needs pulled a little bit more on the frame rack or whatnot. But... We've got the headlight in. I'll show you guys real quick. I've been working on this thing all freaking day. So here's the headlight. All right, so here's the Raptor headlight. Here's the old one down here. This one was just shattered on the bottom. Just holes everywhere. So I got one on eBay just because the one from the dealer was $1,300. And I was not about to drop $1,300 with for a headlight that didn't come with a module. So I got this one on eBay for $475, not too shabby at all. Did come with two broken tabs. These two tabs aren't that big of a deal, honestly, but I took the tabs from the first original headlight and just 
plasti weld them and then threw on a bunch of epoxy just to make sure it doesn't break when we're putting it on and i'll paint it up to make the epoxy match black so it doesn't look that bad look how good that looks that rear end looks so freaking good so let's get a nice little cold start what the there we go But these tail lights are so sick. I love those. But here's a nice little walk around. We got the fuel kickers. We paint matched the rear bumper, this little bed piece, the fender flares. This fender flares inside the truck right now. Got a new wheel ordered because this front one was so bent. So that will be coming in a few days. Got the headlight, just letting it dry up for with that epoxy and then i've got the grill in the front bumper down at the body shop right now the reason why i'm waiting to slap all of that down is because we're waiting for a wiring harness from ford that connects the front camera as well as the washer jet for the front camera and as soon as we get that wiring harness we can slap the entire front end together it's gonna look freaking awesome so hopefully by the end of this week, we will get that wiring harness so we can slap the front end of the 2019 Raptor back together. I'm getting freaking pumped for it. We've got a new wheel ordered because this front right was just super bent. When we were balancing the wheels and tires, we noticed that it was way out of place. So we got that ordered. That will be coming in this week. So I haven't been filming that great of process videos with the Raptor just because it has been pretty hectic trying to get parts ordered, going to and from Ford and just trying to source all these parts for this guy because as everybody knows with shipping and ordering parts, COVID has made it an absolute nightmare. So we're getting very close to getting everything buttoned up and ready to go so it is road legal and ready to drive and we'll keep giving you updates along the process